YouTube. Today I want to share with you the formula that I teach my students so they can create a training plan in order to solve unwanted behavior problems. The formula spells out the word TRIP, T-R-I-P, and stands for Teach, Reinforce, Interrupt, Prevent. So whenever you have a problem situation, you think of the four categories of TRIP, and then you make a training plan for each category. So the first category is teach. What behavior is your dog doing that you dislike? What behavior would you like your dog to do? So you think about the behavior you would like your dog to do and you train it in training sessions. So for example, if you don't want your dog to lay on your couch, you train them to lay in a dog bed and you reinforce it in training sessions. You can even add a verbal cue for the behavior so you can tell your dog to go to his bed. The second category is reinforce. There are behaviors that your dogs are already doing that you can reinforce. And you can also reinforce the absence of the undesirable behavior. So what do I mean by this? For example, if you're on a walk and your dog barks at other dogs on the walk, what you can do is when the dog sees the other dog, they're still on a loose leash and they're not barking, you can actually reinforce that behavior instead of the barking. The third category is interrupt. What are you going to do to interrupt your dog if they were to offer the undesired behavior so you could then redirect your dog to doing a more appropriate behavior? There are many ways to interrupt behavior. It's a misconception that you need to use physical or psychological intimidation in order to do this. Instead, you can train interrupt your cues. For example, a kissy noise or an attention noise, your recall, you can train a leave it cue, you can teach your dog a stationing behavior. For example, you can say go to your bed or go to your crate in order to interrupt them from doing a behavior you dislike. So basically, you train all these cues to stop your dog doing what you dislike, and then you can give your dog information on what you would like your dog to be doing. Now, the important thing with behavior modification is the focus is not on the problem behavior, but replacing that problem behavior with the desired behavior. So the last category is called prevent. You want to create a prevention plan to prevent your dog rehearsing the undesirable behavior throughout the day while you're training your dog what you do want them to do in the same scenario. So for example, if your dog jumps on guests, you're not going to have your dog loose and just see what happens. You're going to have your dog on a leash until your dog has calmed down and is relaxed and is more likely to not jump on the guests when meeting them. Or for example, if your dog barks all day long at the gate, instead you could have your dog inside with the blinds closed and music on until you teach your dog not to bark at the gate in training sessions. It's really important to remember with a behavior modification plan that the focus is not on interrupting and preventing the behavior, but the focus is on building the new behavior to be stronger than the older behavior. So you're going to be focusing on what you do want your animal to do, training and reinforcing it rather than simply interrupting and preventing, because what can happen is even if the behavior goes away, there's a vacuum and your animal doesn't know what to do in that circumstance besides that one behavior he did. So for example, if it was jumping, he might then think to start barking for attention or jumping harder since jumping just a little bit didn't work. 